Okay, Esther 5 5. Bring Haman in haste that he may fulfill Esther's wish, said the king. So the king and Haman came to the banquet Esther had prepared. You know, Esther was being patient with her plan. How much more diligent should we show patience for the Lord's plan with us? Okay, we're in Daniel. Um, Daniel 8. I believe it's 9 and 10. Yeah, let me check. Daniel 8, 9, 10, yes. Okay. 8, 9, and 10. From one of these, the small one sprang a horn that grew big towards the south and east, towards the beautiful land. Now this could most likely be a reference to Antichrist who will be coming, may have already came. Um, so, we may need, um, so we need to realize that this little one, Is made to see be seen great, which means there's more talk about him than what he actually does. He's seen more than what he's capable of. He's a lot of talk. He sways people with his words, type thing. Napoleon complex type thing, maybe. It grew from up to the army of heavens and plugged part of the stars. To the ground and crushed them underfoot. Now, th this could be referring, comparing the Antichrist to Satan, because clearly this is alluding to the fall of the angels. Th this could also allude to the fact that those that may have came to faith, he deceived while they were looking up to God, they found the Antichrist and believed him rather than fully committing to God. Um, they believed maybe he was the returning Christ as he claimed to be and followed him rather than taking an extra step and trusting God. I don't believe this is a reference to the believers falling away to him because I believe God prevents that from happening, that prevent from the hour of testing, I believe, is a proof that God ain't going to let us fall away into Satan's hand. It goes completely against his character. But I believe people are deceived. They're thinking they're following God. And they're following something else. There's false religions. Where the people are so intently involved. But it's not truly serving God. But it's being prophecy. It's not quite clear. Completely what it is a reference to. Oftentimes they can be taken to mean more than one thing. And we need to understand that. We need to acknowledge, hey, it could be more than one thing. But we need what we need to do is make sure we don't fall away. Instead of risking that, we look up to heaven. We look up to God rather than look what's happening on earth. We look to his word.